In this video, I'm bringing you a first look and unboxing of the brand new DJI RS3 Mini. Weighing in at 795 grams, the option of horizontal and vertical shooting, a built-in touchscreen. This could be the best portable stabilizer we have seen. Let's get it unboxed. So a key advantage to this stabilizer, the R3 Mini, is its name, the Mini name. So it's going to be a lot smaller and lighter, which means for people who are traveling and want good stabilized video, this is going to be a fantastic advantage to this. Now, stabilizers are notoriously heavy and bulky as well, and that makes moving them around, traveling with them, really hard work. So this is a lot smaller, which means you can fit this easily into a backpack or a case. And because of its weight, this is also a lot lighter than other gimbals that we have seen as well in particular the rs3 pro and the rs3 which are a lot heavier so fantastic advantage that this is from 795 grams and i'll get to that so if you want the very best possible quality the difference between a smartphone and a camera you're going to get better overall video quality using a mirrorless camera but the downsides to mirrorless cameras is that the stabilization is not very good. So handheld video can be pretty shaky. So you're gonna need some kind of gimbal stabilizer. Now, the great thing about this gimbal is that this can hold big lenses as well. So this is the 24 to 105 and it fits perfectly on this and it doesn't have any balancing issues. Same with the 24 to 70. Even when it's extended to say 70 millimeters, it doesn't have to re-level. So this is gonna be perfect for small lenses like this, the 20 millimeter or by using really popular lenses like the 24 to 70, the 24 to 105, and then be able to extend that zoom as well without having to rebalance the gimbal all the time. So it's great. And therefore, I think this is going to be a fantastic gimbal choice for taking away with you, especially for travel, where you don't want really heavy, big, bulky equipment. You want something which you can just get the job done, can stabilize your footage, can hold different lenses, and this is going to be the one. On the back of it, you'll see here you've got your focus wheel. This is how you can control focus when your camera is attached, and then the trigger. On the front, you've got a touch screen display, the joystick, and the power button and also an M button so you can switch between different gimbal modes. You're going to get a quick release plate as well. Now you can switch this so you can shoot in both horizontal and vertical. So if you like doing TikToks, you can do that on here as well. Now you can use the quick release plate that comes in the box here and then connect this to your camera. Or if you're using like an Arca Swiss plate on the bottom of your camera already, that will just slide in as well, but you have that choice. And as always, you're going to get some paperwork as well. So inside of this, you're going to find a quick start guide. This is going to show you how to mount your camera onto this gimbal, how to download the app, information about the warranty. And then as we talked about before, the quick release plate is going to just give you a screw and a locking pin to connect this to your camera. And then you're going to get a USB-C cable where you can charge the stabilizer as well. And then lastly, you're going to get an RS mini tripod. This is just in this box. It's just going to allow you to then put that stabilizer onto a flat surface. This just screws directly to the bottom of this stabilizer here. You can also use this now for two-handed use as well, rather than having all that weight on one hand, you can now use it with two-handed, which is my preferred method as well. This just allows you to put it down onto any surface. So that's basically everything you're going to get in the box. But as I say, the main draw of this is its size and weight. The payload of this gimbal, it can support up to two kilograms so cameras lenses more than enough for this setup i'm using today it's got a 10 hour runtime it takes about two and a half hours to fully charge now the weight of it is going to be 795 grams in portrait mode if you're using horizontal shooting that like majority of people will that's going to be 850 grams with that quick release plate i really am impressed with the menus are really snappy easy to navigate through everything's nice and clear on the screen and then you can go through the different gimbal modes here or you can double tap the m button to go through quickly those modes i think as an actual stabilizer it is really well built looks decent but because it's nice and lightweight it's going to be perfect for traveling with the rs3 mini supports the ronin app so this is available on android and ios so you can use the ronin with your phone to control it you can even control it with a playstation or an xbox controller this just allows you to completely change the speed and the actual orientation of that stabilizer without having to actually physically touch it so i've been using this on a recent trip 
and I was able to get some really nice stabilized shots but without the impact of it weighing me down and being this really bulky setup this could fit perfectly into my backpack and I'm going to be showing some more clips of this coming really soon the footage I was able to get using both my mirrorless camera and the RS3 mini and I thought the footage came out really well and the price of it in the UK is going to be £339 so I think that is a decent price for something which has the RS name it's a smaller version it's more lightweight it's going to be more convenient for you to take with you I've enjoyed using this over the last few weeks a lot and it's going to be my preferred method of choice for gimbals just because it's so small and lightweight I don't really want big bulky setups with me I want something that's going to be convenient and easy to use and this ticks those boxes Boxes. If you want to go check it out, I'll link it all in the description below. Thanks so much for watching this first look and stay tuned for some more videos. Bye bye.